Well, the Time's Up Foundation has released a safety guide for entertainers. The foundation aims to fight sexual harassment in all industries, and the CBC's Yelena Adzik is here with more on that. Pretty remarkable that this had to be, and now that it is, walk us through what this guide is all about. Yeah, this is a 35-page guide, and it is extensive. It is also very detailed. So what this guide is really trying to do is help actors when they go out for auditions. So it's a 35-page safety guide that helps them navigate that world. What do they feel comfortable doing? I'm talking about specifically when we uh, talk about actors being asked to do either nude scenes or maybe just intimate scenes where they have to kiss someone or make love to somebody uh, in, in a scene that makes it look like that's what's happening. And so it isn't easy for them to navigate this world. And up until a while ago, they've been kind of doing it alone. So actors, that is, when they get on onto set. So this guide really is there to help them and give them resources and tools. Now, a lot of big names that we know of from Time's Up have contributed to the guide or just been a part of it in some way. I'm going to give you a look, for example, Lupita Nyong'o, because she is an actress who says within the guide, by speaking up, speaking Speaking out and speaking together, we regain our power. And then she goes on to say, hopefully we can ensure that this kind of rampant predatory behavior as an accepted feature of our industry dies here and now. So, you know, terse, strong statements. And there are many other actors who are involved as well. I'm going to give you a look at a few of them. If people are familiar with Orange is the New Black, you'll recognize this actress. Alyssa Milano is on board. Of course, someone who's helped to, to propel me to as a movement after Toronto Burke started it. Uh, people that are in, like Natalie Portman that have had many different scenes where they've had to actually deal with this sort of thing. Brie Larson as well is on there. So uh, it's something that a lot of actors have been calling for for a long time. And now it's just, it's like an on a concrete action booklet. And it's something that all of us can just go and download the PDF right now. So the file is available. It's very accessible. And that's what the Time's Up movement really wanted. So Time's Up, the implication there being that this long overdue in the industry and we've certainly seen the yeah. results of some of that but there is more being done in the industry as well, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, listen, we ha it's hard to talk about the subject without at least bringing it, bringing it all back to the beginning, which of course was with Harvey Weinstein in many ways just breaking that story open. Uh, and, you know, to give you some recent pictures, we're all waiting next week the start of a trial with him, so he's still very much in the news. And there you get to look at uh, sort of what he is uh, presenting to the public as far as his image now. And so this has really brought about a lot of very specific things, such as a new role, a new job of intimacy coordinators, kind of like a stunt coordinator, but they help actors on set. I'm going to give you a listen to actress Liz Whitmere as she talks about what she thinks about going into an intimate scene. Certainly when I've been on set and felt compromised, it's usually because of a last minute change. So if I've agreed to the script as it's laid out and I've signed a contract that says I will play this role on this show and then I arrive at set and there's been a last minute rewrite and all of a sudden I'm not wearing pants. That's a decision that's gone through a, a creative tree. It's come down from producers and writers and the director signed off on it and everybody's aware of it except me. That's exactly what this 35-page safety guide is trying to remedy.